If your AI characters keep changing faces, you're not imagining it. One minute they've got brown hair, the next it's blonde, and by scene three they're a completely different person. That's not a creative twist, that's just bad consistency. In this video, you'll learn how to fix that using OpenArt. I'll walk you through exactly how to create a consistent AI character and keep them looking the same across different scenes. Step 1. Set up OpenArt. First things first, go to OpenArt and sign up. From the home page, click on Image Creation. Make sure you're in that mode and not the storytelling one. The storytelling mode is more focused on full comics and sequences. For building and controlling individual characters, you want to stay in image creation. That's the mode with the tools we're going to be using today. Step two, choose your AI image model. Once you're inside, look to the left side of the screen. You'll see a menu with a bunch of options and one of them is the AI model picker. This part is important. The model you choose affects how consistent your character will look. If you're just using the default or a style-focused model, your character might come out looking a little different each time. For high consistency, switch the model to something called Flux Realism. This model is specifically designed to produce images that are detailed and repeatable. It's one of the most reliable choices in OpenArt if your goal is to keep your characters looking the same across different prompts. Step 3. Start Character Creation Next, look for the Character Creation section and click Start with One Image. This is where your character creation begins. You'll need to upload an image to train your character on. This image can be a photo, a drawing, or something you generated with AI elsewhere. What matters most is that it's high quality. Try to use a front-facing or three-quarters view of the character. It helps the system understand their facial structure better. Avoid blurry or overly cropped images, and if the background is clean, even better. After you upload your image, name your character. This step might seem minor, but it's actually a key part of the whole process. The name becomes a kind of anchor that connects the visual traits of the image to your prompts later on. Let's say you name him Brad. From now on, anytime you want to use this trained character in a scene, you'll start your prompt with the name Brad. Once your image is uploaded and named, hit Create Character. This will kick off the training process. It usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes. During this time, OpenArt is studying the image you uploaded and creating a character profile it can recognize and reuse in future generations. Step 4. Generate scenes with your trained character. When the training is finished, you'll see an option called Create with Character. Click that. Now you're ready to start using your character in different scenes. On this page, you'll see a slider called Character Weight. This controls how strictly the system follows the features from your uploaded image. A higher value makes the character look almost identical every time. A lower value gives more variation. For consistent results, move the slider to around 8. That's a solid balance. Your character will look the same in each scene, but won't feel frozen or robotic. Keep the Preserve Key Features setting turned on for now. This tells OpenArt to focus on keeping the essential parts of your character's look intact. Things like face shape, hairstyle, and overall style. If you turn this off, the system will start introducing more variation. That can be fun later on, but for now, you want stability. Now, in the prompt box, you're going to describe your first scene. This is where the character comes to life. Start your prompt with the name you gave earlier. So, for example, you type something like, Brad walks through a crime scene with a flashlight, looking focused. The rest of the prompt should describe the environment, lighting, mood, or action. You don't need to be poetic, just say what you want to see. Try a few versions and see how the character performs. 
you'll probably notice that their face, clothes, and posture are mostly locked in, while the background and pose can change depending on the details in your prompt. Step five, add more characters. If you want to add more characters, it works the same way. Go back and repeat the process you just followed. Upload a new reference image for each new character. Make sure the images look different enough. For example, give them different hair colors or outfits. This helps the system keep them separated and avoids confusion when generating group scenes. Give each character a different name. Let's say you've got Amber and Mike now. Once their characters are trained, you can select multiple characters at once by clicking Create with Characters. Choose Brad, Amber, and Mike from the list. Then write a prompt like, Amber and Mike sit across from Brad at a cafe, planning their next mission. The system will try to match each character's features and place them together in the same setting. If the generation feels off or a character doesn't look quite right, try rewording your prompt to include more specific details. Step six, animate with Kling. Now let's say you've got a perfect image of your characters in a scene and you want to turn it into a short video. OpenArt has a feature for that too. Click Image to Video. This tool uses Kling 1.6 and lets you add motion to your still image. You can describe how the camera should move in plain language. For example, you might write, camera slowly pulls back to reveal the office around Brad. This gives the scene a cinematic feel without you having to animate anything yourself. You can also adjust the lighting and mood. If you want the scene to feel dramatic, choose low lighting and slow camera movement. For something more upbeat or active, you might go with brighter light and faster movement. It's all adjustable, and the best part is that your characters stay consistent across every frame. No weird face morphs or changes between shots. Once your settings are in place, hit Generate, and you'll get a smooth video of the scene with your characters in motion. Step seven, use the 3D Pose Editor, optional. If you want to take it even further, there's a 3D Pose Editor inside OpenArt. Inside your character's panel, you'll see a button that says, Pose Your Character. This opens a tool where you can pick a preset pose or use the 3D control points to move the arms, legs, and head. It's kind of like posing an action figure. Once you've got the pose the way you want it, click Update Pose. This will generate a depth map that helps the AI understand how to apply lighting and perspective correctly. Now, when you write your next prompt, you can use that pose. For example, Brad crouches behind a car, scanning the area with a flashlight. The combination of the prompt and the pose gives you a result that feels more planned and cinematic. Go ahead and start with your first character today. Upload your image, name them, and start creating. The more you play with it, the better you'll get. What ideas for characters or scenes do you want to try out with OpenArt? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there.